Hello my dear students, welcome to IMS Gate Academy. My dear students, a very big update from IIT Roorkee that Gate 2025 is conducted by IIT Roorkee. Now my dear students, there was an updated syllabus. In civil engineering, there are seven verticals. First we have the engineering mathematics. Next we have the structural engineering, geotechnical engineering and also transportation engineering, water resources engineering, environmental engineering and geomatics. So let us discuss what are the syllabus in each individual sector. Now coming to engineering mathematics, my dear students, we have linear algebra, calculus and also ordinary differential equations, partial differential equations we have, probability and statistics and also numerical methods. Definitely differential equations is very important topic in engineering mathematics. Now coming to structural engineering. As you know, my dear students, in civil engineering, if you talk about structural engineering, you will come across engineering mechanics or mechanics of solids or some people will call strength of materials. Structural analysis we have, RCC, reinforced cement concrete and also we have steel structures. So let us understand the syllabus like engineering mechanics, steel structures, RCC and all individual. First coming to the engineering mechanics, we have system of forces, we have free body diagram, here we have free body diagrams, equilibrium equations, internal forces and applications and also we have free vibrations. Now my dear students, this concept is very important sir. Free vibration and undamped second degree of freedom equation. This is a one important topic in engineering mechanics. Now coming to solid mechanics or we call strength of materials, obviously bending moment shear force or if you talk about statically determined structures. In strength of materials or uh, you can say solid mechanics, you will be more discussing about the determinate structures. You will be talking about simple bending theory and you will have fluxural shear stresses and you will also talk about the most important concepts like uniform uh, torsion and transformation and buckling of column. Now coming to structure analysis, we always discuss statically indeterminate, determinate structures, moment distribution method, slope distribution method or you can also talk about the flexibility matrix method, stiffness matrix methods and also we talk about the frames. Now coming to the construction materials and management, as I told you, very important, CPM, critical path method and also we will be talking about the part, program evaluation technique, float, we have see all things, construction materials like steel, uh, structural steel or material properties of concrete, mixed designs and you will also talk more about part and CPM and also cost estimation. Now coming to the concrete structures, now my dear students, if you compare the, if you compare the syllabus in concrete structures, usually we have both methods, working stress method and limit state method, but as the working stress method is an outdated method, especially in uh, water tanks, we use the working stress method. Apart from that, we will be studying about the limit state method in beams, columns, if you talk about the beams, columns or slabs or torsion or if you talk about foundation, those things will be, means studying about all the structural elements. Now my dear students, coming to steel structures, again here also working design, working stress method, limit state method, uh, means limit state design method, design of tension and compression members, beams, columns and gusset plate also will have eccentric connections, these are very important my dear students, beam column connections, plate gutters and a plastic analysis, remember my dear students, in steel structures plastic analysis is very important. Now coming to see the marks distribution. See my dear students, in a structural engineering, you will be getting around 15 marks uh, to 18 marks if you compare all the subjects like uh, reinforced cement concrete, you will be getting 4 marks, steel structures, plastic analysis, you will get 2 marks and uh, plate connections or uh, eccentric connections, you will get another 2 marks. So obviously 8 marks from this CPM and part also you might get 4 marks, in strength of materials you might be getting 6 marks and structure analysis 4 marks. So it varies from year to year, mostly the marks weightage will be from 18 to 22 in structure engineering. Now my dear students, if you see geotechnical engineering, my dear students, there is no a big change in the syllabus in civil engineering. Now coming to soil mechanics, uh, some people we also call soil mechanics plus foundation, we call geotechnical engineering. The syllabus is almost same, like properties of soil we have, next we have the origin of soils, uh, we have the like soil structure or index properties and we also have soil classification, permeability, compressibility, consolidation, stress distribution, compaction, stability of slopes, earth pressure, shallow foundation, deep foundation, 
soil exploration. So, shear strength, all these are the syllabus in geotechnical engineering. Now, coming to the foundation engineering, as I told you, mostly soil exploration, stress distribution, Bosnick's theory, uh, preservable shallow foundation, deep foundations, pile foundations, all the deep foundations also, you have to study the dynamics and static formula, plate load test, piles under lateral loading, some things like sheet piles. So, this is all about geotechnical engineering, my dear students. And let me tell you, geotechnical is a very, very important subject in civil engineering because almost 10 to 12 marks and is the highest weightage for civil engineering when compared to mass and aptitude. So, please keep in mind, geotechnical is a very important subject to score better marks in gate exam in civil engineering. Now, my dear students, when I talk about water resources engineering, Sir, in water resources engineering, uh, fluid mechanics you have to study, but fluid mechanics is a somewhat a typical subject. You have to learn the subject in an application oriented way. If you talk about these properties of fluid statics, we have we also have momentum equations and flow in pipes, and also we have concept of bound boundary line theory. And remember, my dear students, in fluid mechanics, if you compare hydraulics part, every year we are seeing almost four marks where you can easily score. Like if you talk about channels, open channel flow, very important, hydraulic jumps, we have dimensional analysis, energy depth relation, specific energy, all these are water surface profiles. So these are all the very important topics in uh, hydraulics. And remember, my dear students, you can easily score most economical channel section, specific energy, or the relations between the alternative depths. If you can learn this subject, this is also a very important subject. Now coming to the hydrology and irrigation. Hydrology and irrigation is more about the theory part, but uh, there is a problematic part related to infiltration, phi index, delta duty, hydrology, unit hydrograph. These are the common questions which we will see every time. But if you see here, hydrological cycle, evaporation, evapotranspiration, what infiltration, or you have flood estimation, hydrograph analysis, reservoirs, surface runoff models, and you have groundwater uh, uh, hydrology, like we will have well hydraulics and aquifers. This is also very important topic, students. Well hydraulics and application of Darcy's law. And if you talk about irrigation, crop water requirements, duty delta, and evapotranspiration, spillways, lined canals, design of weirs, and permeable foundation. And remember, my dear students, hydrology and irrigation, you will have a weightage of 4 to 6 marks, but in gate 24, we have seen a weightage of 6 marks. Now, my dear students, if I talk about environmental engineering. Sir, if you see students in environmental engineering, we have water, we have solid waste, solid waste management, pollution, and also we have designs. So, this is basically divided into four parts, sir. Water, you'll have more of theory part, you'll get two marks, like basic water quality standards, physical and chemical and biological water quality index, unit process, and water requirements, water distribution system. And when I talk about the design, sewage, distribu sewage distribution system, domestic water, primary and secondary dis primary and secondary treatment. And if you talk about the pollutants, like air pollution, types of pollutants, sources, air pollution, air quality standards, and air quality index and limits. Similarly, when I talk about the municipal solid waste, characteristics of general collection and transportation of solid waste, engineered systems, how do you recover it and how do you treat it? So, my dear students, if you consider environmental engineering is also one of the important subjects, you will be securing 8 to 10 marks. Now, see students, if I talk about transportation, amma, transportation is basically divided into four parts, sir, here also, geometric design we have, like we have traffic engineering, we have highway, like flexible payments, rigid payments, and also highway materials, and we also have a basic introduction of airport and railway. Now, see students, if you talk about geometric design of highway, we have summit curves, we have vertical curves, we have stopping side distance, overtaking side distance, extra widening, super elevation, grade compensation, and basic introduction of highway elements. And if you talk about railway engineering, CANT, and C students, easily every year we are seeing a question from this topic from CANT and speed and concept of airway, runway length, calculations, taxi and actually in airport engineering, the corrections are very important, sir. In addition to this, we have highway materials, desirable properties and tests, if you have bitumen, how do we test desirable properties of bituminous paving surface, what are the factors affecting flexible and rigid payments and design of flexible and rigid payments also. Traffic engineering is a very, very important topic, my dear students. We can expect only three marks definitely from traffic engineering if you learn 25% of the transportation engineering syllabus. So we have flow speed, peak hour, accidental study, statistic analysis of traffic, microscopic parameters, fundamental relations, traffic signals, signal design, types of intersections, and highway capacity. And let me tell you, my dear students, 
transportation engineering is a very very important subject now if you talk about geomatics we have fundamental concepts we have compass surveying we have leveling we have theodolite surveying but let me tell you we have the curves we have but the most important to topic in geomatics nowadays is all about photogrammetry photogrammetry will talk about scale how to convert photo coordinates to ground coordinates how do you calculate the number of photos so geo transportation engineering you will see a weightage of 8 to 10 marks and in geomatics you will see a weightage of 4 marks now let me tell you one important thing my dear students there is no big change in the syllabus in civil engineering but let me tell you if you concentrate on geotechnical transportation environmental mass and aptitude definitely you will get 50 marks because mass and aptitude 28 marks and if you consider geotechnical 12 marks so 40 and if you consider environmental and transportation 10 10 marks so out of 60 marks if you can secure 45 to 50 definitely you will be getting into best nit or the old iit also sometimes now see students if you see the seven verticals engineering mass aptitude and if you consider structural engineering you will be getting 18 to 22 marks geotechnical engineering you will be getting almost uh, uh, 12, 10 to 12 marks and if you see environmental 8 to 10 marks and if you consider transportation engineering also 8 to 10 marks water resources engineering fluid mechanics hydrology irrigation hydraulics you will get almost 12 to 14 marks and in geomatics 4 marks so my dear students i hope this uh, this syllabus will help you on which areas if you want to concentrate definitely i'll tell you geotechnical you have to concentrate more on pile foundations and also shallow foundations properties of soil consolidation topics in the transportation engineering you should more concentrate on traffic flow traffic management and also you should have a basic idea of geometric design and in addition to this if you talk about environmental easily you can get into the design of sea waste system or uh, municipal solid waste or basics of air pollutants and all in addition to this if you talk about hydraulics most important thing open channel flow alternate depths and if you talk about the structures rcc is a somewhat easy subject to score study the is456 code just go through the design criteria of beam column footing and if you talk about steel structures eccentric connections you have to keep an idea and also plastic analysis in strength of materials as obviously bending moment shear force and column and buckling means columns and struts also very important and theory of simple bending also is very important in structure analysis just analyze the statically indeterminate structures using the moment distribution method or slope deflection method so that you will get an idea so i hope this video will help you to understand the complete syllabus of civil engineering thank you and all the best